and speculates that Kylie Jenner may have dissolved her fillers as she appears fresh in a recent red carpet appearance. According to a nurse and professional injector, Kylie Jenner may have eliminated her alleged cheek and facial fillers. Don Monteith, RN, a popular TikTok creator with 84.4K followers, recently commented on Jenner's Met Gala makeup look from earlier this month, noting how the reality star, 26, seemed rejuvenated, fresh, and luminous. Monty speculated that Jenner might have undergone a procedure to have her rumored facial fillers removed, and many fans in her new video post's comments section agreed. Kylie Jenner sparks facial filler removal rumors after stepping out at the 2024 Met Gala, is it just me or did Kylie Jenner dissolve her filler? Monteith said in her video, comparing side-by-side -side photos of Jenner at the Shia Pirelli Spring Slash Summer 2023 Hot Couture Runway Show in January 2023 and her appearance at the 2024 Met Gala on May 6. I could not stop obsessing over how fresh and good she looked at the Met Gala. You know how obsessed I am about undetectable injectables so let's break this down, Monteith continued. There are two big things that I'm really noticing that feel very obvious to me that I want to point out, the expert continued. She then analyzed the Kylie Cosmetics mogul's cheeks, specifically the front of her cheek. Whether she dissolved filler in this area or not, Monteith said that she thinks it's pretty obvious that she doesn't feel as full in this region as this photo while comparing the two red carpet shots. For the 2024 Met Gala, Jenner donned a bespoke Oscar de la Renta gown in a creamy hue, featuring a pointed bust and a voluminous skirt. She accessorized her hair, sleeked back into a timeless updo with a delicate floral clip. The Kai founder's makeup look was composed of rosy ample blush, long and luscious lashes, and a deep pink lipstick shade. Back in January 2023, as Monteith noted, Jenner wore a low-cut, velvet-cinched black gown to the aforementioned Shia Parali Paris Fashion Week show that showcased her curves and boasted a now infamous fake but very realistic lion head attached at the neckline. The Karishan star's makeup look above appeared to be heavier, as she opted for smoky eyeshadow, winged eyeliner, sky-high lashes, radiant blush, and an overfilled mauve lipstick look. Excess amount of fillers to the anterior cheek can often lead to the pillow face or cat face look that you often hear about when people are overfilled, Monteith went on, addressing criticism Jenner sparked last year after appearing at the Shia Parali show. I ain't seeing that here, she looks good, she added, regarding Jenner's recent Met Gala look. Number 2. Her lips. Over the years, Kylie has gotten a lot of heat for her lips, we know this, Monteith added. It looks like she's made a lot of changes, which I love. In the before photo you can see some puffiness above her lip. Puffiness or heaviness above the lip can often indicate lip filler migration, she explained. The TikTok creator went on, look how much more natural her lip frame looks, there is no more puffiness above the lip. Her mouth almost rests more naturally as well. I love it. I love the shift, I love the change. I hope it stays this way, and these are the types of injectables I live for. What Kylie Jenner has said about fillers and injectables. Jenner has been no stranger to rumors about receiving Botox injections, lip fillers, and cheek fillers. The recent recurrence of these rumors on social media followed her appearances at the Jean-Paul Gaultier Hot Couture Show during Paris Fashion Week in January above and at the 2024 Golden Globes Award Ceremony that same month, the mom of two admitted to pursuing lip fillers and undergoing breast augmentation surgery as a teenager but stressed in a November 2023 WSJ interview that she never touched my face regarding other rumored procedures like cheek fillers. Apart from lip fillers, Jenner said, I've never touched my face but just even getting my breasts done when I was 19 and getting pregnant soon after, not obviously planning to be pregnant at 19, and I was never insecure about myself. She went on, I actually was always super confident and loved my body. I was just having fun. I was influenced by amazing boobs and was like, that's what I wanted to do and had fun with it. Jenner then admitted, I probably just should have waited until I maybe had kids or let my body just develop. She then stressed that she has found motherhood to be about teaching our kids to do better than us, be better versions of who we were. During an episode of the third season of The Kardashians, Jenner responded to the incessant, and ongoing plastic surgery rumors circulating among social media users, which have persisted over time. One of the biggest misconceptions about me is that I was this insecure child and I got so much surgery I changed my whole face, which is false. false. 